Panasonic's gathering a whole bunch of content creators in Japan to make a big announcement. Is this the new autofocus system? Is it going to be based off LiDAR? Or is it going to be based off that newly developed autofocus system, phase detect autofocus system, found in a new PTZ camera coming in Q1 2023? Details coming up, but first, I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so that way you can stay up to date on the latest camera gear, news, and rumors. John Simo, Sam Holland, Richard Wong, and Chris Howe, among other content creators, have gathered in Tokyo for a Panasonic announcement. If you'll recall, Chris was quoted as saying that he would never use another Lumix camera unless it had a face detect autofocus system. And sadly, I wasn't one of those content creators invited to Japan, as you can tell from me being in my studio halfway around the planet. I guess this piddly little channel at 34,000 subscribers just hasn't quite caught their attention yet. But this is kind of a big deal. We've been hearing an awful lot this year, 2022, about Panasonic and them developing or prioritizing a new face detect autofocus system. It started back around March, April, when Matt Fraser talked about the GH6 and what they prioritized in that camera, stating that they are looking at new autofocus systems, maybe phase detect or something even better. And then just recently, the director of Panasonic's imaging department, and that director, that very high level director is Yamani. And what he has said just recently is that, well, they are working on a new autofocus system. And when pressed further how far along they were, he held up his hands like this and said, well, between zero and 100, we're about here. And this was a couple of months ago. So it sounded like there's an awful lot more talk coming from Panasonic about a new autofocus system, whether it be phase detect or something else. And then in the last couple of months, also, we heard a lot of rumors from Digikami-Info, Asobinet, and Four Thirds Rumors talking about a LiDAR-based system. And then, of course, we got this not too long ago. I think this was in October, where Panasonic made an announcement for a new camera coming out in 2023, the first quarter of 2023 being a PTZ camera. The AWUE160 is equipped with a newly developed phase detect autofocus system that enables high-speed focusing and can be used to shoot fast-moving subjects. And this is a really big deal. A newly developed face detect autofocus system, that is real. We know this. It has happened. This is on Panasonic's own website. This isn't made up. It's not a rumor. It's not a very reliable rumor. It's fact. They've got a new PTZ camera coming out and it's going to have a newly developed face detect autofocus system. So certainly that could be what's going into the new Lumix cameras. But we also hear rumors of a new LiDAR based system and anything that could replace that contrast detect depth from defocus autofocus system. Wow, I'm just super excited. I'm more excited about this than the Canon EOS R5 Mark II. How long have we been waiting for a new autofocus system in Panasonic cameras? We were hoping that by the GH5 and then we hoped, well, the new full frame version of the GH5, which turned out to be the S1, the S1R and the S1H, it didn't have a newly developed face detect autofocus system or LiDAR based system. And then we hoped maybe the S5 and it didn't have it. And then of course, other announcements. And we are expecting a refresh of the S series sometime in the next couple of months. It's been four years since Panasonic released the S1 and the S1R. It was back in February. So we're right around that time frame for an announcement. Now this announcement, we don't know what it's going to be about. There hasn't been anything by Panasonic saying, we've got an announcement and this is what it's going to be. What we have are leaks of people being gathered by Panasonic in Tokyo, in Japan, about a major announcement. And well, in this case, where there's smoke, there's going to be fire. You're not going to gather people together for an announcement and then basically, well, not show anything. And yes, I know what you're talking about. Late last year, around October, Panasonic scheduled a couple of announcements. And one of those was supposed to be the GH6. And we were expecting a new face detect autofocus system. The rumors were pointing to it. We were getting excited and nothing. We actually didn't get the GH6 announcement until I think it was February, February, March, along with the OM1 from OM system. And there was no face detect autofocus system. So we were, we've been built up before. We definitely got an announcement coming up. But when you look at the people that have been invited and some of the people like Chris Howe, who said, well, I'll never touch another Lumix camera again, unless they have a face detect autofocus system, based on all the rumors we've been hearing, based on what we've heard by Yamani and Matt Fraser, I'm getting pretty excited. I'm getting pretty excited that we might see a phase detect autofocus system. And who knows, maybe Panasonic might tease us about some new Lumix cameras coming out. Maybe a GH6S or maybe, oh, I don't know, an S1, S1R or the S1R Mark II or 
the S1H or some other variation of the S series to have a new phase detect autofocus system or a LiDAR based autofocus system. And who knows, while I wasn't invited to Japan, maybe Panasonic will send me one of their new full frame cameras with a new phase detect autofocus system. But I sense because I'm here talking about it that those people that do have a camera, if there is a camera to be announced, are keeping shot about it because, well, they're all gathered in Tokyo. And today's Thursday, well, Friday morning, Friday morning in Japan. So might we get an announcement in the next six hours? Well, it's really hard to tell. Generally, we don't get announcements on a Friday, certainly not on a Saturday or Sunday. If we are getting announcement, an announcement, I'd really expect it to happen, well, really around Tuesday. So I'm, I'm super excited here. I'm really excited about a new phase detect autofocus system coming up by Panasonic some new potential cameras. We're expecting an awful lot to happen in 2023. And CP Plus is coming up on the 2nd of February. And that means we should start to get announcements by camera companies right around the 22nd, which is a Sunday, which is normally what happens in the lead up to CP Plus. So Canon's supposed to be announcing several cameras like the R50, the R100 or R1000, maybe an EOS R Mark II or an EOS RP Mark II. Uh, the R8, the R9, we're expecting a lot from Nikon. We might get the Z6 Mark 7, Z7 Mark 7. Sorry, let me try that again. I'm so, so excited I can't even say the products properly. The Z6 Mark 3, the Z7 Mark 3, and maybe even the Z8. If Well, if, if Nikon can manage to get the components they need to fabricate, Sony's pretty much caught up, although we're expecting the A9 Mark 3. Um, but I think it's a little bit too early for the Alpha 1. But what's what I'm really excited about right now and if you own a canon if you own a sony or even a nikon you should be excited by this too because if panasonic can come out with an accurate and reliable autofocus system like canon and sony have well that that will increase competition because when it comes to video centric cameras well lumix has been doing it for a very long time waveforms that don't go away when you press record vector scopes and a whole bunch more and panasonic is one of those companies that kind of led before canon did providing continuous firmware updates with enhancements of major new, well, capabilities, as well as bug fixes. And if you want to stay up to date on all the latest news and rumors and whether we're getting this announcement, when the announcement is, what the announcement's all about, whether this happens anytime during the day, 24-7, I'll be reporting it right here. I cover all of the major camera brands, all the major camera models, all the major news, rumors, and reviews, all here in one spot. So go ahead and click that subscribe button, followed by choosing all notifications. And by choosing all notifications, well, you don't have to go around scrubbing all the latest Twitter feeds, RSS feeds, favorite websites, print magazines, yada, yada, yada. If time matters to you, you can come right here, subscribe and choose all notifications. And I give you all the top camera news all in one spot. But that's it for now. Fingers crossed that this is an announcement of a new autofocus system, a new reliable and trustworthy autofocus system, and not some sort of draft early model that's not quite up there with Panasonic or not Panasonic with Canon and Sony. So. Oh, I'm super excited. Hopefully, hopefully we get some announcement later today. We'll just have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.